One of the most anticipated astronomical events is the explosion of the star Betelgeuse, which will undoubtedly affect life on planet Earth, both during the night and even during the day. Easily visible in the night sky on the shoulder of Orion, one of the most well-known constellations in both the southern and northern hemispheres, the star Betelgeuse, a red supergiant, is the tenth brightest star in the night sky. However, mysteriously, it started to dim at the end of 2019. Its dimming was so noticeable that it could be seen with the naked eye by observers, raising questions worldwide. Has the bright star in our night sky reached the end of its life? And why would its explosive death, even at light years away, affect life on Earth? The star Betelgeuse, due to its distinct orange-red color and its position within the constellation of Orion, close to the three stars known as the Three Kings, is easy to find in the night sky and can be seen by any naked eye observer from early December to mid-May here in the southern hemisphere. The star is located approximately 642 light-years away from Earth in the constellation of Orion. Betelgeuse is classified as a red supergiant star belonging to the spectral class M, which means it has a relatively low temperature of 3,200 degrees Celsius. I say relatively low temperature compared to the temperature of our sun, which is 5,500 degrees Celsius. The luminosity of the giant Betelgeuse is approximately 126,000 times that of the sun. To our eyes, the star appears as a bright point of light on the upper shoulder of the Orion constellation. But when viewed up close, astronomers recognize it as a seething and pulsating monster that physically expands and contracts while its atmosphere traps and releases the heat radiating from its core. When the star is smaller and hotter, it would extend to the orbit of Mars, and when larger and cooler, it swells to encompass the orbit of Jupiter. These pulsations occur approximately every 400 days, and the star also exhibits slight changes in its brightness with periods of 100 to 180 days. Betelgeuse is clearly undergoing convulsions, with dark spots resembling monstrous sunspots and bright bubbles of rising gas behind some of these convulsions. The aged star has expanded to a staggering diameter of over 1.5 billion kilometers, which is 764 times larger than the Sun. For comparison, the diameter of Mars' orbit around the Sun is 328 times the diameter of the Sun. This means that if Betelgeuse were in the place of the Sun, at the center of the solar system, its expanded layers would extend to the orbit of Jupiter. With a mass of about 19 solar masses, meaning 19 times the weight of the Sun, Betelgeuse is in an advanced stage in the life of a star. A red giant like Betelgeuse is a star that has depleted the supply of hydrogen in its core and initiated the thermonuclear fusion of hydrogen in a shell around the core. This envelope around the star's core has radii ranging from tens to hundreds of times the entire radius of the Sun. However, its outer envelope has lower temperatures, giving them an orange-yellow hue. Despite the lower energy density of its envelope, red giants are often much more luminous than the sun, and this is due to their large size. The time that Betelgeuse has spent as a red supergiant can be estimated by comparing the rates of mass loss with the observed circumstellar material, as well as the abundance of heavy elements on its surface. Estimates for this period range from 20,000 years to a maximum of 140,000 years. The estimates for this period range from 20,000 years to a maximum of 140,000 years. And according to the evidence we will see next, the star seems to be showing signs that it doesn't have much time left in its life. The 2019 Dimming of Betelgeuse in 2019, the star Betelgeuse mysteriously started to dim. The reduction in its brightness was so noticeable that it could be seen with the naked eye by observers looking at the night sky. The star lost about a third of its brightness during this period, becoming fainter than neighboring stars in its constellation, which usually have lower brightness than Betelgeuse, making the phenomenon visible to the naked eye from Earth. Analyzing data from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and several other observatories, 
astronomers concluded that the red supergiant star Betelgeuse literally underwent an explosion of titanic proportions, losing a substantial portion of its visible surface and producing a gigantic surface mass ejection, known by the acronym SME. This was a type of event never before seen in the behavior of a normal star, some astronomers claimed. Our Sun routinely experiences explosions, expelling part of its tenuous outer atmosphere, the solar corona, in an event known as a coronal mass ejection, abbreviated as CME. But the SME from Betelgeuse launched into space 400 billion times more mass than a typical CME from our Sun. According to observations from NASA, the dimming of the star occurred due to this immense amount of hot material ejected into space as a result of the massive explosion. The damages produced a dust cloud with a diameter of over 1.5 million kilometers, which billowed out from the depths of the star directly towards Earth, obscuring the light from stars in that region and covering about one-third of Betelgeuse's light. Even more intriguingly, something else happened after this explosion in the star, the 400-day pulsation period of the supergiant ceased. For almost 200 years, Astronomers had measured this pulsation rhythm of the star, which is evident in changes in brightness variations and surface movements of Betelgeuse. Putting together all these events and signals given by the star, the scenario indicates that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life in an unprecedented explosion that will affect the lives of all beings on Earth. But how will it affect us? How will Earth be affected when Betelgeuse explodes? Considering the distance of Betelgeuse from Earth, which is 642 light-years as mentioned earlier, life on our planet would not be at risk of extinction due to the explosion since Betelgeuse is beyond the damaging range to our planet. However, life on Earth would be affected in various ways. Some studies indicate that the brightness of this explosion in the sky will be nearly as bright as a full moon and will remain at that intensity for about three months before slowly fading. The brightness of this supernova will be so intense that it will be easily visible to the naked eye even during the day. People around the world would be curious about this event because it would be impossible to ignore. Humans will be able to see the supernova in the daytime sky for about a year, and its brightness will be visible at night with the naked eye for several years as the supernova fades. Not only would the lives of human beings be affected, but researchers point out that many animals use the moon for navigation and are confused by artificial lights. Adding a second object as bright as the moon can be disruptive. Astronomy itself would be directly affected. Astronomical observations are already challenging when the moon is bright. With Orion prominently visible in the sky, there would be no dark nights for a long period of time. Even studying Betelgeuse in this phase would be a unique challenge. The bright light emitted by the supernova would overwhelm all astronomical instruments. It would be nearly impossible to observe it with most ground-based telescopes, including space telescopes. To do so, telescopes and equipment would need to be modified to collect much less light. There is no certainty about the date when Betelgeuse will explode as a supernova, it could be in days or hundreds of thousands of years. Astronomers say there will be ample warning beforehand. Instruments on Earth would start detecting neutrinos, subatomic particles coming from the star, as well as gravitational waves generated by the explosion, up to a day in advance. Imagine a significant portion of the world staying awake and looking at the star Betelgeuse, waiting for this unique light show to begin. What would be your expectation and reaction witnessing this event? Please leave your opinion on this subject in the comments. Thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed this content and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. If you have suggestions for new videos, leave them in the comments and share it with a friend who enjoys astronomy. Thank you very much and see you next time.